Hey, what's going on, guys? So I uh, just bumped into this video here. That's like an eighth month uh, old video, but uh, it's pretty disheartening to uh, watch these kind of videos. But it's kind of like reality check, you know. So it says, uh, "Quit my job to be a YouTuber," and things didn't work out. Yeah, this guy here is uh, named Dorian. And uh, let's check out his profile here. So his name is uh, Dorian Develops. He has 245,000 subscribers with almost 400 videos. You would imagine a lot of people would think that, you know, somebody with over 100,000 or even 200,000 subscribers uh, would be called making it, right? But... um. This guy here in his video, he talks about going back to corporate and working a regular job again, even though he has a quarter of a million subscribers. You know, that's crazy. Uh, you look here, 395 videos, 16 million views, and he joined only in 2020. So that's pretty impressive. Um, that's really impressive to gain that many subscribers within that short amount of time. But here are the top things that I learned through uh, watching his video. Uh, the first one is things don't always go as planned. Um, honestly, like I said earlier, you know, uh, 250,000 subscribers is really impressive. Um, and he's still not able to uh, be a full time YouTuber, you know, because uh, he said he needed to work a regular job so he can take care of his family. You know, that's just really disheartening considering how much time and effort you put into it um, and um, it's not working out the way you planned it to be, you know. Uh, so I'm thinking, uh, what do you have to, um, you know, how many subscribers would you really have to uh, get to in order to be, you know, something something sustainable or, or to make a living off of this? Because that's pretty rough, you know, uh, that's pretty tough climb. So the second thing I learned from from watching his uh, video was, you know, originally his uh, channel was all about coding and development, you know, in the uh, in that world, you know. Um, and the interesting part is now he's not sure what to do with the channel and the direction he wants to go in. So um, he said he doesn't always want to talk about coding. Um, so that pretty much wore him out at this point. I, maybe he feels like he's given all the knowledge that he needs to give, or maybe he just doesn't care to talk about coding anymore, but you can tell by his channel, like, um, you know, he doesn't always want to talk about coding anymore. You know, uh, I even saw this one, it says here, I haven't written any code in over a year and he feels mad about it. And then on here, he has one, I ate nothing but meat for 30 days, um, and here's about working out, uh, what to do if your life is a mess. Um, you know, so it's like really interesting to see, you know, even here he's doing shrooms here for the first time on his video. So that really is interesting from where he went from, you know, started from coding. And the, and the thing is, there's nothing wrong with changing your channel at all. You know, if you started off doing something on your channel and then you end up changing ideas or you end up bumping into something else that you find more interesting, you know, have at it. Go at it and, and try it out. You know, uh, that, um, you know, Jugger McNuggets, he did the same thing. He was trying all sorts of different things before he found his niche, you know. Um, and then also uh, there's this one guy. You know, he talks about relationships, but originally the Samuel, uh, the Samuel guy, he was talking about relationships, but, but originally he was doing our perfume and cologne, uh, uh, videos, you know, and, and fashion videos. So you never could know as long as you're experimenting and, and trying out different things, there's nothing wrong with changing out your channel to do something else. So, and the number three thing that, uh, he talks about in the video is, you know, he wants to make videos. He wants to make it kind of random, whatever ideas he, he comes up with, he just wants to talk about. And the thing is, he says he doesn't want to make videos with a lot of B-roll. A lot of you people might know or understand that B-roll, anything with a lot of B-roll in it is really tough. The editing is really tough because from my perspective, from my point of view, coding is really hard and and he's over here not wanting to do the editing 
part on you know with a lot of b-roll and stuff like that so it's like that's really tough because every time you come up with an idea or every time you talk about something now you have to brainstorm on what kind of clips can you put in on top of your uh talking points and things like that you know so that's time consuming it can really like hinder your creative thoughts because you always have to think about what kind of b-roll and what kind of things and graphics and all the other stuff you uh can put on top of the things that you're talking about um and that's very time consuming so um he he chose two things in his life that's time consuming right the engineering and coding part that's very time consuming you know uh since i worked in the it world too you know whenever you meet with it people you tell them exactly what you want done, right? You say, I want this done. I want this changed. I want this bug fixed and all the other stuff. And what they are going to tell you? You know, they're going to say, hey, it's going to take two or three weeks or it might take a few months. And then uh, they disappear for a few months uh, and they come back with the, the finished product or the fixed uh, items or whatever that you you had earlier, you know. Uh, so it takes a long time to really uh, deal with all that. And editing is is very uh, time consuming. You just have to uh, really think about all the creative stuff you can put on top of your videos. But um, but I watched this other guy too. His name is uh, Terry Warfield, and he tried to go full time this year. And as you can see here with the heading, uh, it says uh, this didn't go as planned. So he talked about this uh, pretty recently too. He has fifty eight thousand subscribers. And uh, some of the friends or, or uh, YouTubers that he knows, you know, crossed over the 100,000 uh, subscriber mark and uh, they hit a really big milestone and he didn't. So now he's at a crossroad too. Like he talks about um, not hitting his mark and he knows that he didn't grind as hard as he needed to or or um, or whatever. And, um, you know, it was, uh, I don't know if it was lack of motivation or lack of planning or, or just, uh, the direction he needed to go to or just whatever, or maybe he was just slacking off. Honestly, it's easy to, to slack off in the, in the video and the editing world. Um, it's very easy. I have so many videos that I can edit, uh, with or do or whatever. And it just sits there, um, in the hard drive idle gaining ideas and gaining thoughts on how to really go about editing all these things is is really rough even for me um i do uh wedding videos i have hundreds of wedding videos at this point where if i wanted to i can do uh, tutorials and reviews and and explanations of how to shoot these uh wedding videos um you know but if that's time consuming but if i wanted to i could uh, do a, a short or quicker version of explaining some of the things you know i don't have to uh, do one of those extra long videos i can just do shorter clips to explain uh, certain parts of the weddings i just think it's really uh, interesting and eye-opening to see somebody with 250,000 subscribers you know and still has to work corporate america in order to make a living so that lets you know that whatever milestone you're trying to hit, that's amazing. If you can hit the 1,000 mark, 10,000 mark, 50,000 mark, every milestone that you hit is amazing. But for you to be a sustainable YouTuber nowadays, um, I I think you would have to hit the million, uh, the million subscriber mark, it, it seems like. I don't know uh, what milestone he really needs to hit in order to make this sustainable, but and, you know, right now he's just uh, grinding corporate America again and doing these random videos. But anyways, uh, you know, let me know your thoughts. What are you thinking? Uh, is this disheartening for you? Is this discouraging or encouraging you? Or is this just something that's eye opening that can help you understand that, oh, even if you reach 250,000 subscribers that you might still need to work full time or you might need to work harder to get more views or get um, or to make more videos or whatever. Let me know your thoughts.